¿Qué tal amigos? It is Jezzy. So, based off of the title, I am making a Selena Colorful Blazer inspired, inspired skirt. Excuse me. So right now I'm showing you guys the outline that I did on the skirt that I'm doing. And I put it into sections based off of the designs on Selena's blazer. And throughout the video, I'm going to be showing you how I paint each section so yeah so i highly suggest if you're doing this or the blazer wear clothes that you don't mind getting acrylic paint on and acrylic paint is like pretty much it's like permanent when it touches your clothes so wear something that you don't mind getting ruined <laughs> okay so first i'm going to start off with this section that's inspired by one of her sleeves and first i'm going to go in with yellow paint and i highly suggest that after you add the paint onto um, whatever fabric that you're using to use a spray bottle you'll see me using a spray bottle throughout this entire video and what it does is that it helps blend the paint it just helps spread the paint throughout the skirt and you don't have to use huge globs of paint so water is your best friend <laughs> when it comes to spreading paint across whatever fabric you're using So next what I'm going to do is that I'm going to add orange paint and basically that's going to be like the little streaks that you see on Selena's sleeve like it's not blended well it's kind of streaky and that's the look that I want to accomplish on this part of the skirt. What I'm going to do is I'm going to spray and then I'm going to add the yellow paint on top just to have it look a bit more blended. You don't want to look too streaky, but you don't want to look too blended. Um, the thing is, is that when you look at Selena's blazer, it looks very artsy, it looks very messy. So it's okay to like mess up on a few parts. It does not have to be neat. And that's the fun part about making this or her blazer. And what I'm doing right now is that I'm using red paint. And I'm basically just going to um, copy the design that's on her sleeve onto this part of the skirt. So on this section of her blazer, um, the orange is kind of like a reddish orange. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to place the orange first and then I'm going to place in a little bit of red. And as I'm painting it on this part of my skirt, I'm going to be blending it together. So you'll see the red in coming pretty and pretty soon now. Okay, yay, red paint. And then <laughs> we're gonna mix it and we're just gonna um, paint this section the same way it was done on her blazer style. Random, but you guys see my jawstring. I'm wear I was wearing a hoodie while I was doing this, and that's my jawstring, and while I was editing this, that scared the like living crap out of me because I thought it was a spider. I felt so stupid. I was like, ah, oh my god. But it was my damn string. <laughs> Crazy cookie jazzy and my gosh. So what I'm doing right now is that I use too much paint. So I'm basically like just like um, taking it, removing it from this section of the skirt and adding it onto a piece of paper because I will be using that on uh, the same part of the skirt later on. So right now I'm putting the same design that was on the arm of her blazer on this section using the red paint. 
later on I'm going to be using that orange to fill in in between these two lines you see that's how it was done on her blazer So I'm just adding the lines in between and I'll be um, coloring it in with that oranges, the, with the, the oranges, the oranges, we're adding oranges, no, with the reddish orange color, yeah, see, like right now, thank you, Jazzy, for like <laughs> saving me on this because it was like hard to explain, so yeah, you guys see what I'm doing, you guys see what Jazzy is doing. So this was the day after and you guys can see that I use cardboard. Um, I'm not painting this on my floor because the paint bleeds through and basically when I lifted up the skirt it kind of ripped and it messed up the red coloring so you'll see later on I'll, I'll be fixing that. Next I am putting down the design that is from her other sleeve and basically it's like a little circle design and I blended the background with the same orange and yellow blend that I did with her um, design from her opposite sleeve. Next we're going to be working on this section of the skirts and what I'm doing is that I'm basically spraying down uh, just so that the paint can blend in much better and I am using the rest of my yellow paint because I ran out like a goofball like a goofball um, I'm going to be adding the paint the link to the paint that I use from Amazon in my bio so and you guys can see on this section that yeah I got a little bit of yellow paint on my other section of the skirt and I was so upset but later on you'll see that I ended up fixing it and it was all easy breezy beautiful cover girl so yeah right now I'm fixing it and it looks pretty in a second not right now but in a second this second boom yeah boom gotcha So what I noticed on this part of her blazer is that there was like little hints of orange that was going on in the background behind the green circles that I'm going to paint in a little later on. So that's what I'm doing right now is I'm blending it in with the yellow just to give that little orange hue. Next I'm going to be coloring in the green booger circles. Yeah. Next on this section of the skirt, I am going to do this green yellow hue design that was going on. I can't really explain, <laughs> but that's what I'm doing on this section of the skirt. Next, I am preparing to do the pink design of the skirt. This is one of my favorite parts of her blazer. I think it's really cute, that little swirl. I am painting the pink background, and then later on, I would do her little swirl design. So right now we are going to take our purple paint and we are going to place in the swirl. Right now it's not as bold and it's not as thick, but later on I will be filling it in just to make it pop. Pop! Bam! Yeah! If you look at Selena's blazer, she also have like this little, um... A purple hem going on, on on her blazer and I'm basically mocking that on this part of the skirt um, as you can see it's kind of bleeding and is going over the other section of the skirt which I said I mentioned before it's okay because on her blazer that's how it looked it looked a little messy you know it's a very artsy fartsy blazer you can have fun with it that's what I love about it and next I'm going in with this blue and there's this section that you can barely see but <laughs> 
but there's basically like this blue part of her blazer and what seems to be a green squiggly design going on so i tried with the best of my abilities to mock that i just did like just this little squiggle design i noticed there was like a little green hue going on um around the squiggle design on her blazer and i'm basically doing that with the residue from the green off of my brush and blending it into the green to, not the green but the blue background I'm not gonna lie, I completely forgot what I was doing on this section of the skirt. I was like, why did I leave this open? What am I doing over here? What am I doing? But I was, I was supposed to mock the blue and purple um, streaky design that was going on on the shoulder of her blazer. But I was basically just doing it off the top of my hand and not looking at the picture because I completely forgot why I left it open right there. <laughs> Um, oh, this part of the skirt is my favorite. I love this part of the design. When I was looking at her pictures, I noticed there was like a little design going on in her, um, on the back of her blazer. And basically what it looks to me, it appears that it was like an ombre of orange and yellow. That's why I'm doing it half orange. Later on, I'm going to do um, half yellow and do like this ombre effect. There is a little stripe design going on at the bottom of her blazer that I'm doing at this part of my skirt. And right now I'm going in with this yellow. It's I ran out of my other yellow. So this yellow is like this orange-ish yellow going on that I'm adding at the bottom of the skirt. While that section dries, I'm going back into this little acorn design and basically i'm going to do a light purple i'm going to paint it lightly because it's a little faded as seen on her blazer and that's exactly what i'm going to do right here next i'm going in with my dark blue and i'm going to do the outline of these this little acorn design and do a line in the middle the same way as it appears on her blazer Next, I'm gonna go back with that little stripe design. And I'm using purple because I ran out of red. It was originally red and orange, but I'm using purple because my, well, I'm saving my red for another part of the skirt you guys will see later. While that dries, I'm gonna do this section of the skirt and it's basically like this ladder design. Um, it's like a faded purple that I'm doing on the inside right now. And then later on, I will outline it with dark blue. Since the purple stripes are dry, I'm going to do the orange design alongside of it as seen on Selena's blazer. Now since the purple is dry, I'm going to go back with the blue paint and paint the outlines of it. Yeah. And this is how she looks. Yeah. I'm showing you guys a finished product and what you guys will see is that there's black outlines and I basically did that to cover up the sharpie markings that I did to mark the designs on the skirt before painting it and yeah this is how it should look Next, I'm going to use E6000 glue to glue on the tool because I cannot sew with this um, fabric that I'm using that I painted on. It'll like literally rip if I do that, so I'm gluing it on. So what I did that I for completely forgot to film is that I have an elastic band to basically fit my waist and I did the little uh, colorful design that's on the lining, lining of her blazer and I'm just showing you guys the stitch that I use for that. 
And once you're done, here's the final product. Yes! A beautiful, big, poofy skirt that's inspired by Selena's blazer. It's so pretty and colorful. I showed this to my mom. She was like, where would you wear this? I was like, Disneyland. It's so whims whimsical, so colorful. It's very loud and it is perfect for Disney. Okay, it reminds me kind of like Sally's dress. That's the first thing that came up to my head while I was designing this. It's so pretty. I love this so much. You can wear this at a fan gathering. You can wear this at an art museum. I don't know. You can wear this as maybe like one of your projects you want to do for school or college or, you know, or a concert, whatever. That's all I have. Thank you guys for watching. Bye-bye. Like, share, and subscribe, babes. Mwah, mwah, mwah.